Is time of the essence when you're investing? Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are grateful that we get to welcome you to another episode of Life's Inside Track. I'm Yetta Decker. And I'm Ken Decker. And we get to share techniques, thoughts, tools, tips, and truths that we all need. We all deserve. Me, you, everyone. So even can, me? Even you. Awesome. Even you, Ken Decker. So that we can turn our house into home where our families thrive and we live the best life possible. So is time of the essence when investing? Usually, either, whether it's to move slower or to move quicker, time is always of the essence. Time well, is always a Yeah, thing. but time of the essence means move quicker. Okay, so most of the time, and it's always subjective, like I'm not going to give you an absolute here. Why not? And yet. You usually do. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> what we're going to learn in this episode, if you had chosen not to make time of the essence, say 25 years ago, for argument's mm, sake. You're or, still waiting to make your first investment property. Right, still waiting to invest, that you that time has cost you dearly. Cost of lost opportunity. Exactly. Now, if you weren't ready 20, 25 years ago, you didn't have the financial wherewithal, mm -hmm. then it You can't do what you can't do. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Nice right. words there, Yetta. Uh -huh. You can't do what you can't do. And so once you're aware of what you want to do, creating a strategy, though, may prepare you much sooner than you would otherwise be. Mm. So therefore, time is, as you say, Ken, always of the essence. Well, because look, when, when an opportunity shows, you know, mm -hmm. they say haste, haste not, waste not, but there's also don't haste and lose the opportunity. What, what's the saying for that? I don't remember. Anyways, it's all good. <laughs> the point is, if we sit and wait sometimes that great opportunity somebody else gets it exactly and we don't want that to happen to you so we're going to share some four or five tips that will give you ability to be even more prepared so when the opportunity arises you can jump at it now the first tip is going to be to read the wealth formula if you haven't read the wealth, oh, this formula, little book you got on the Kindle book. This one's really neat. It's got all multiple colored tags sticking out the side. And so does this one, but only three colors. Oh. And so what these are, if you're listening, not watching, you might want to watch us because we're probably a little more entertaining when you watch. <laughs> probably a little. So clients of ours actually have read this book, and the two that these books belong to have made significant money through real estate investing. And so what this does is show me their level of preparedness. So they wrote, actually, if you look at these green ones, they actually describe what's on the pages. Yes. Right. And what the they were ones, getting out of that. What they were getting out of that section. So they've taken it and then not only read it for leisure and for fun, because it's a great story. They've actually taken it and identified what steps they need to take. And then not only did they prepare themselves, they took the steps. Mm -hmm. And they loaned us their books because one has already been on the episode on one of the a couple of the Life Sense I Track episodes, and the other family is going to come and join us soon. No so way. So I said, Can I borrow your books? Because I like this just blows my mind. They've done a better job of preparing than I think we did. They probably pulled more out of that book than I thought I put into it. it <laughs> It would look that way. So if you're looking for a copy of yours, they are available on the website and you can purchase it and read it. And Kindle as well. On as which website? Wealth-formula.com. Yes. And the Decker team website as well as the Double Decker Life website. Really? Yeah. It's on all those places? It is. That's very cool. So time is of the essence. Uh, blah, 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 rented, rented lips. lips. Can't do anything <laughs> yeah, with don't them. Don't rent. Okay. If you're going to rent, <laughs> you're helping somebody else build wealth. Yeah. So that's actually part of, like, that was great, Ken, rented <laughs> lips. And there are times and seasons where you're going to want to rent, where it's the right decision. You're only mm -hmm. living in, in a town a short period of time. It may not be the wisest to own, 
or you're just starting out or you're saving for your down payment or you're establishing your preparedness. So there's amazing times to rent. But in the long haul, the reality is you are buying a house when you're renting. It's just whose house are you buying would be the question. And maybe it's just me because we're doing a little more focus on investment properties. But I'm not. I, I just find there's more and more people wanting investment properties. So the demand for them is high. It is. They sell quickly. They do. And so you got to be prepared because if time is the of the essence, because mm. when that right property comes up, that's in the area you want, the type of property, the condition you want, the numbers work, you need to be ready to go. So one of the first things is where do you get your down payment? Right. Find the down payment. Maybe if you already own a home, you already believe in investing at least to some degree because you put a roof over your own head and you're not paying anybody else's mortgage. You're paying your own mortgage down. And so what's happened, if you've certainly bought it in the last two to five to 10 or 15 years and you haven't used your house as, as an ATM machine, we do not words, recommend. You, in other words, you haven't remortgaged it and increased the mortgage. Or consumer debt. Mm-hmm. Right. You for things that decrease in value, if you have refinanced it, you've done it so you can invest your money into something else. So if you haven't done it for the wrong reason or you haven't done it recently for investment purposes, then chances are there's a whole lot of equity sitting in your house. And that's a great place to get your down payment. Not the only place mm-hmm. and a great place. Mm-hmm. Right. And. So I think having a backup plan, because a lot of times the Mm. finances is like, you got to go in unconditional on these things, even investment properties, if they're smaller, not necessarily the bigger buildings where you're into commercial lending. Depending on how much demand there is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what if you need more down payment? Where can you find down payment? Well, you want to be thinking about your plans or your options where could you maybe get it because if you're going in firm even if you've had a pre-approval even if everything was lined up but now the appraisal doesn't come in as high as you hoped it would or you needed it to you may require more down payment Yeah, or the bank might say hey you will do it for 20 percent." but then when you go to produce the property and you bought it unconditional and they go, no, actually we need 25 or we need 30%. For that property. So knowing where you're going to come up with that other money. Right. So is it, do you call parents? Do you call grandparents? Do you have friends? Do you have actually, those are probably the least expensive methods, Mm -hmm. but then you can also, we've got amazing mortgage specialists and private lenders that will give you short-term or long-term money even if it's at a higher interest rate, it may still really work well for you. Yeah, because it's going to be a short-term higher interest rate till things get in place, and then you can refinance. Right. Take the time right. to, to ta- spend the ta- time. Ta- time is of the essence. Yeah, because sometimes you don't have the time to do a 30-day finance clause on a, on right. a building, so the seller won't accept it. But mm-hmm. that's what it takes to get cheap money. So you use private money, expensive money first, and then refinance out of that. If the numbers still work. So if you're looking for some insight, give us a call because opportunity waits for no person. Yeah, and we're grateful to be on the journey with you, moving forward together. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team.